Good morning, everyone. This is Module 5, Lesson 7. Today we are solving word problems to f when we are finding the volume of rectangular prisms with whole number sides. So first today for our concept development, we have a problem. And what I want you to do is I want you, see how I have Notability open on my iPad? I want you also to split screen. You should be able to split screen on your iPad. If you don't have an iPad, then you can use your composition notebook. But if you can, if you're watching this YouTube video on your iPad, you can split screen, okay? Take Notability that's down here on, and then you can move it to half your screen. So as we're going through this problem, you're able to go through it with me on Notability. And those of you who are submitting your work, and I know that you're watching your videos, what I want you to do is I want you to screenshot what I'm doing here. So we're going to do this first problem together. Problem number one. Jeffrey's first planner is eight feet long and two feet wide. The container is filled with soil to a height of three inches in the planter. What is the volume of the soil in the planter? Explain your work using a diagram. So what they did here was they drew a planter that is eight feet long, eight feet long, And then they said two feet, so I'm going to draw this, draw my whole planter, eight feet long. The width is two, two feet wide, okay, and two feet wide. And it says the container is filled with soil to a height of three feet. So the soil is here, from here to here is three feet, okay? So we're not counting this area up here, only the soil. All right, so how do we find the volume of this, you guys? What do we do? What is volume? How do we find it? I heard it. Say it louder. Length times width times height. So we have eight feet. That's our length. Two feet's our width. And three feet's our height. We have three times two is six times eight, which gives us 48. Are we done? No, we're not done. Did we label? Y'all, we got a label. Don't forget your label. How many times do we see feet there? Three. So it's 48 cubic feet. 48 cubic feet. I'm going to go over here and see the next one. Problem number two. Problem number two. Oh, wait, you guys, we weren't done with problem number one. Did we write a statement? No, we didn't write a statement, so make sure you write a statement there for problem number one. All right, problem number two. I'm going to erase this so we can work. It, if you are working on your iPad, I want you to take a screenshot when you are done. And then that's what you can upload to Seesaw. Okay, so here we go. Problem number two. 
Jeffrey wants to grow some tomatoes and four large planters. He wants each planter to have a volume of 320 cubic feet, but he wants all of them to be different. Show four different ways Jeffrey can make these planters and draw diagrams with the planter's measurements on them. So, here we go. Jeffrey wants to grow tomatoes in four large planters. Let's chunk it. That sentence, what do we need from that sentence, that first sentence? Anything? Do we need tomatoes? Do we care that he's growing tomatoes? No, we don't care that he's growing tomatoes. Okay, but what we do care is that we are going to need to build how many planters? Four. Okay. Each planter has to have a volume of 320 cubic feet. But he wants all of them to be different. So you, what you're going to do is you're going to draw four different planters with a total volume of 320 cubic feet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the first one. Okay, so here is the first one. Remember that volume is length times width times height. So what you have to do is we already know that the volume is 320 feet, but you kind of have to figure out yourself what is what times what times what is going to get me 320 feet. What I want you to think about is what times what times what equals 32. Okay? And then we add that zero with that number 10. So 10 times 8 is 80. 8 times 4 is 32. And then you add that zero. Okay? So I'm going to write it up here. Whoops. 10 times 8 times... Okay, 10 times 8 is 80, 80 times 4, remember 8 times 4, whoops, is 32, and then we add the 0 back, okay, so 320 feet cubed. So here you see a diagram drawn of 10 feet by 8 feet by four feet. So one of his planters is going to look just like that. Okay. Now let's think of another planter together. What times what times what is 320? I'm going to make a planter that's really long with a side of a length of 32. Okay, 32 times what, you guys, is 320. Right? 32 times 10 is 320, but I have to split my 10 up because remember we have length times width times height. So if my, oh sorry, not height, times height. So if I have 32 times, and I, this is 10, what times what is 10? Two times five. Good. Five. Oh, wait. Or five times two. I'm going to do five times two. So now, in the end, I have 32 times 10, which is going to give me a volume of 320.
so 32. I got five feet wide and I got two for my height. Extend that a little bit longer. So 32, 2 feet, 32 feet, 5 feet. And I'll make this look a little nicer. Whoops. Oops. Ah! 2 feet. <laughs> so that is the second one. And now I want you to come up with two more planters. Two more planters. Those of you who are splitting your screen and your iPad, take a screenshot of your problems, your notability that you have on this side, and then you can post that to Seesaw, showing me that you're working on the concept development. So I know for the next one, and you don't have to use this, but I know that 16 times 20 is 360. So if we need length times width times height, what can I multiply this one of these by? What can my other length be? This is length times width, but I need height. So if 16 times 20 is already 360, what can my height be? Good, one, right? So this, these can be the dimensions of another prism. We have 16 by 1 and then by 20. And then you can do that last one by yourself. What times what times what is 320? Don't forget to take a screenshot. You can add it to Seesaw. Oh, so it's going to show you that one here. Length times width times height. 16 times 20 times 1. Oh, and it's going to show you another one, you guys. So this is another example that you could have done. We have 8 times 8, which is 64, times 5, which is 320. Time for problem number three. Here we go. Jeffrey wants to make one planter that extends from the ground to just below his back window. The window starts at three feet off the ground. If he wants the planter to hold 36 cubic feet of soil, name one way he can build the planter so it's not taller then three feet. So, the big thing here is that we have some key numbers that we need to write down, right? So what are our key numbers that you see? I heard three. I heard 36. Good. Okay. So 36 is what? It's the volume. 36 is the volume. Okay. That's 36 
cubic feet of soil. So the 36 is the volume. That is our total, 36, okay? And we have length times width times height. Length times width times height. That equals 36. So we are going to divide 36 by one side, two sides, three sides. 36 divided by three is 12. So we know, and why did we divide 36 by three sides? We divided 36 by three sides to get the total length of our other sides that we need. So we know that we have to have a height of three feet. But that's just one of our sides. That's just our height. So we have our height taken care of. Our height is Three. Our height is three. Three. And then our length times width has to equal twelve. Right? Because 12 times 3 is going to give us 36. So our length times width combined needs to be 12. So what times what is 12? Yeah, good. I heard 6 times 2. I heard 4 times 3. Good. Any of those would work. Okay, so we're going to do four feet. So the height is three feet, the width is four, or the length is four feet, and then the width is going to be three feet. So his planter box, oh, and they did the same one that we did. The length, four feet. With a width of three feet and then a height of three feet. Okay, and they also did 36 divided by three, which is 12. And then 12 is the same as four times three. That's how they got their sides. All right, don't forget your statement. Because it said on the, oops. On the last page, it said, explain how you know. Name one way he could build a planner so it's not taller than three feet. And then it said, explain how you know. So make sure that you explain how you know. So since Jeffrey wants to build a planter with a height of three feet and a volume of 36 cubic feet, the base of the planter should have an area of 12 feet, which this area here, this area, 4 times 3, that's the base of the planter. That is 12. And then 12 times 3 gave us 36. That could be your explanation. All right? Okay, on to number 4. On to number four. So number four says, after all of this gardening work, Jeffrey decides he needs a new shed to replace the old one. 
His current shed is a rectangular prism that measures 6 feet long by 5 feet wide by 8 feet high. He realizes he needs a shed with 480 cubic feet of storage. Will he achieve his goal if he doubles each dimension? Uh, uh, mommy, can you hold me up? Sorry, that's my son. Mommy, can you hold me up? So what I want you to do is I want you no. to try this problem all by yourself. So think about this problem. Oh me up. Help me up.